Could you give me your, your title, please, and your name? Yes. Hello, Tommy. Uh, my name's Moira Niven. I'm Lord Lieutenant for the West Lothian area. Okay. And yourself? I'm Cara Fox, head teacher here at Uphall Primary School. And yourself? And Kirsten Patience. I'm the deputy here at Uphall Primary School. Excellent. So, Moira, you were invited along to Uphall Primary uh, this morning. Yes. Uh, can you give me your insight to what you've just witnessed? Yes, it's been a fantastic morning. Um, the uh, children have been uh, demonstrating the work that has been done over the past year in the school. And I've heard them singing uh, this morning uh, songs about World War I and the Road to Passion deal. And uh, they were fantastic. They were very enthusiastic and very interested. But we had a video capturing the wide range of work that has been done in the school. And, you know, as a former teacher, I've been very impressed with the quality of work and the depth of work that the children have done. So it's been a terrific day and this lovely um, gift to the school from the Ancre Somme, uh, which I know is really appreciated. Uh, Carol, I think you're delighted to receive this Absolutely. today. Absolutely. It's wonderful. Um, the children have had a wonderful year and a half learning um, about Passchendaele and um, the late Corporal Beveridge, our local war hero, and um, today really has been just a fantastic um, presentation um, to the children and the staff of the school uh, for all the hard work that they have been doing over the last year. So we'd okay. like to thank you very much for presenting it to us. Delighted. Um, we're, we're, we're very privileged. Thank you. And, and Kirsten, tell us a bit about how did this all happen again? <laughs> Um, way back in August of 2017, um, we were invited along to um, a memorial service for Corporal Robert Beveridge and we were asked to sing as a choir. Um, however, we decided to use that um, as a catapult really um, to develop our curriculum here at Uphall Primary School in a, in a community sense. So we used that um, as the focus of our learning through which children um, experienced all different areas of the curriculum and were really fully engaged engaged um, within that topic, it was the most wonderful experience. We had children within our school who maybe weren't so engaged before, just loving it and, and here eager to learn and keen to be involved every single day. And what, if you could pick one thing from the year, what is probably the most memorable moment from, from the year of, of the actual learning? Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's um, a number of highlights actually. Um, from my point of view, I went with the children to the poppy factory and that was so nice because they actually got to talk to, you know, um, people that have served in the army and, you know, to see the sort of real life of how it impacts on other people. Um, but also within school, the, the different experiences of working within the community, the community coming into the school, um, grandparents being involved, um, the real intergenerational um, experiences and just seeing their children so engaged mm -hmm. and enthused and you know, seeing their learning moving forward. So many, so many yeah. things. And you now have a memorial garden that you've created. Yes, we do. And for me, that's maybe part of my highlight and um, was pulling it all together at the end and, and, and finishing off that topic in such a beautiful way. We now have a lasting memory to Corporal Robert, um, Robert Beveridge in our um, front of our school and it is beautiful. And I think the fact that it's about an individual mm -hmm. um, who was a hero, he won the military medal yeah. and he's uh, someone from their community and that gives an extra level of uh, uh, interest and uh, depth to the learning about World War I. Yeah. He's and absolutely alive and breathing in our school here at Uphall, you know, <laughs> and yeah. we, will, we will take him forward with us for, for many, many years to come. Yes, indeed. So just to end, uh, on behalf of the Onkar Som Association, thank you very much for all your hard work and uh, Robert lives on in this school. Wonderful. Thank you, Tommy.